today's video, um, what we've got is uh, it's a Suzuki GS125 carb um, coverer, and yeah, essentially it's been on the bike since 1988, and as far as I'm aware, I don't think it's been cleaned. It hasn't been cleaned in the time that I've I've owned the bike. So what I'm gonna do is I'm finally gonna give it the clean it it so right rightfully deserves. So what I can say about the carb is it is a slide carb, a uh, slide top carb, and yeah, it's um <laughs> certainly seeing bad days. But what what we're gonna start uh, start with is a wire brush, and I'm just gonna give it a good clean down on the outside just to get rid of the majority of all the uh, all the big bits and. And then give it a clean down with with a bit of petrol and then tear it down fully and give every individual bit a good clean. Okay, as you can see, um a lot of that outside sort of crud has just gone just going to continue to give it a bit more of a brush down get as much off as I want to clean it as best as possible okay I'm just going to start by remo uh, just removing all the sort of bleed and mixture screws and all them lot um, I know this hasn't got any fuel in it because I didn't leave any fuel in, in the carb nor the bike uh, when I left it sat but there's bound to be a little bit of build up of sort of yeah a little bit of build up of sort of crud and whatnot. Uh, once I've removed them, I'm just going to remove the four um, four screws at the bottom. That's holding the float bowl. And once once they're removed, it should just pop up out. Okay, this one seems to uh, seems to be well married to it, so it's going to take a bit more force than I once thought. Okay, that eventually give in. Um, and as you can see on the inside of this, it's it's quite um, quite dirty. Um, oh wow, I haven't seen that for a while. Uh, we've got metal float, but yeah, I'm just going to start taking the carb apart. Uh, going to start with the um, main jet and the atomizer. Get them out. <laughs> And that's the idle jet. So once they're out, I'm just going to take the pin out for the float. 
remove the float and the float needle. Remember on which way that goes around. And we can have a, a better look in in there. And yeah, it definitely looks like it's uh, in need of a good clean. Okay, so we've got our uh, our trusty bowl, our petrol that's yeah not supposed to be that colour. Um, to the right, obviously, we've got the carb cleaner, and we're just going to give that a jolly good clean down. Give it a good spray out with the carb cleaner, and then yeah, put it all back together. Okay, already you can see that it's start, starting to make a good diff uh, good bit of difference and uh, as you can see from the colour of the fuel in the um in the bath now that it's yeah, it's certainly got a bit in there. So I'm just gonna ever so carefully keep, go around all into the crevices. Um I'm not try not to go too brutal with the uh steel wire brush but toothbrush and the nylon brush you can sort of get in more places and it's not quite as not quite as good on on the tough bits but good for the awkward awkward spots and now I'm just on to the um, the atomizer main jet and idle jet just going to give them a good clean down and then I'm going to give them a blast through with the carb cleaner. Just to make sure that all them holes are nice and clear and I'm just going to give it a spray down the middle, make sure it does spray properly. Yep, that's all good. And obviously all the other little bits like the um, uh, the float, the gasket, because that's not a paper gasket, that one's a metal gasket. But I'm not going to go too mad on it because, yeah, I think it's I think it's just stained. Uh, I can't actually get it any cleaner by the looks of it. So I'm just going to give everything a quick brush down and. Go over, make sure everything's all good. Right, now everything's all cleaned, time for the reassembly. I'm going to start by putting the atomizer back in. Getting that f at first hand tight. And I'm going to give it an ever so slight tighten with the spanner. But not too tight because I don't want to overdo it and snap it. You've got to be ever so careful. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. Time for the main jet, which I believe is a ninety-eight. Although I'm not hundred percent sure if I'm honest with you. And now the idle jet. And once they're in, just going to start putting everything else back on. 
go, we'll tighten back up. Um, give it the quick test, which is um, apply air pressure with it upside down and also the other way around. Um, I can't remember which way. I'd, I know one should be one way and one should be the other, but I couldn't tell you which way it is off the top of my head. But yeah, if, if it blows and blocks, I think it's when the carb's um, upside down, you shouldn't be able to blow through it. When it's the right way up, you should be able to blow air straight through it. So once that's all, all back put back together, I'm just gonna put the float needle and the float back in now. And once that's all in, like I said, we'll put it all back together and test it.
And now we've got the throttle, um, throttle needle, housing the spring. Get that back on. Obviously, I'm going to have to take this apart when I reattach it to the bike because I've got to feed that back through. But for now, that should be good enough. Just get my finger in there and try and push that up, make sure it sits all the way down. Choke still, still opens and closes, that's good. So yeah, I think I think that should be everything. Apart from, yeah, I need to put it on the bike and test it, but I won't be able to do that on video because the bike's not currently with me at the moment. But anyway, thank you again. Uh, if you like, then please subscribe for more. Thank you.